Hi, it feels good to be here, man. I uh, have a little dilemma. My mom uh, is dating this guy, and I don't like him because he's my age. Dude, I haven't liked this guy since middle school. I want to hate him, but him and I have so much in common, you know? Like, both of us have been spanked by her. I want to fight him, but I can't, like, because I'm not securing myself. Because look, look at this. Look, it jiggles back here. What the hell? Like, I was going to get a tattoo here, but the only thing that makes sense is a swing set. <laughs> it's not sexy. What am I tell a girl, like, hey, you want to come to the playground? <laughs> it's not sexy at all. <sighs> I have no butt. I'm insecure about that, too. There's nothing back here. This girl's like, I'm going to toss your salad. I'm like, you just going to get a piece of lettuce. Yeah. That's a real, that's a real problem, you know. I let her do it, and then she started to freak out because her tongue went numb. Oh, no. you know, I didn't have the heart to tell her to put cocaine up there earlier. What the fuck? It's Samson's house. I was waiting. I was hungry. So I made a sandwich and I, he called me up. I didn't have time to eat it, so go ahead and pass it around. Go ahead. Yeah. Yeah. Good sandwich. He was making huh? Africa Good sandwich. Oh my god! Don't worry about that sandwich. It's a good sandwich. <laughs> You're acting like you've never seen a sandwich before, sir. <laughs> That's not the weirdest thing, right? You, you, we're in L.A. Yeah, I'll tell you, one time I went on a date with this girl in L.A., and me and her had the most amazing conversation ever, and we go back to her place, we start getting frisky, and I reach in our pants, and I felt a penis. I know, I was like, that explains the amazing conversation. Something tells me she's an impeccable parallel parker. Come on, every, every, first of all, I just want to let you guys know, everyone loves a pickle, so... If you're like me, I like a little chocolate on my pickle. Oh yeah, you got a little nothing on there. I don't know. Oh my god. Oh yeah, a little chocolate on it. Give me a little bit. You want a little chocolate on the table? No. Give him a little bit. Oh my no. god. No. No. Oh. It's good. Right? Um. Oh. Oh. <laughs> You're like, I am done. <laughs> Mm. It's not bad, you know. One time, one time I got pulled over. I was drinking, and I got pulled over by a cop. You know, he's like, "Sir, please pull over." I was like, "When I hit something, that, and the cop comes over, and he goes, "Son, get out of the car." And I'm so drunk and nervous, I got out of the passenger seat. And, and, and he goes, "Son, I'm giving you the finger test." And I was so drunk and nervous, I was like. I had a little chocolate left on my finger. I was trying to figure out how to lick it, so I just came up with that. Mmm, mmm, so good. So good. I love it. By the way, this is all stuff I found in Samson's kitchen, by the way. This wasn't planned. I, I've been waiting for three hours to go up. I got hungry. <laughs> I don't want you to think I came here with a sandwich to his house. I would have came with a better sandwich than that. <laughs> oh, yeah. We'll save this for later. Go ahead and hold that for me. Oh, I'm taking that home with me. It's part of my payment for the show. <laughs> By the way, I'll let you guys know my mom is a Puerto Rican, which I know is hard to believe when I look like a Confederate war general. <laughs> When I get whiskey dick, I'm like, the South shall rise again! <laughs> Anyone ever uh, get whiskey dick? Anyone ever get a, a lip pickle? Huh? That's the worst, man. Yeah. It looks like it entered a dojo, just bows. It's like a... Ah. 
I'm uncircumcised, so it's more like this. Like, oh, no. ah. it looks like that movie, The Shining. It's like, here's Johnny. <laughs> I tried to give her the limp noodle. I didn't even care. I I tried to throw it at her like I was Scorpion from Mortal Kombat. I was like, get over here. <laughs> <laughs> what happened, sir? You don't want it? <laughs> he, he flinched. He flinched. He saw it coming at him. He's like, oh, no. <laughs> I didn't know what to do. I ran to the bathroom, started blowing on it for 40 minutes. I was like, <laughs> I started doing that helicopter spin. I'm like, <laughs> and it slowly started to rise like Hulk Hogan's hand in a wrestling match. I'm like, come on, brother, let's do this. <laughs> I kick open the door, I'm like, <laughs> and she's asleep on the couch. I'm like, wow, it can't get any worse than this. What happens? I accidentally throw up on her. I know I felt so bad that I woke her up and I told her that she threw up on herself. I know, I know. Now she's my girlfriend. It works very well. We moved in together. She's like, this is amazing. We're going to be having sex three times a day. And I was like, just cheat on me. I don't got that kind of testosterone, you know what I mean? I'm not, I can't, you know? One time we were hooking up and I finished and she didn't. And that's the worst when you live together because now you just got to sit in your failure. You can't just leave the house. <laughs> So I, I see her go to the bathroom and I hear the shower go on for 20 minutes. And then she comes back. She's like, I had to use the shower head to finish me off. <laughs> I was like, no, I'll pay the water bill. I finished you off. <laughs> Put some respect on my name. <laughs> She's like, you didn't last that long. I go, how do you know? She goes, I timed you eight minutes and 32 seconds. I thought that was a lot of time. She goes, well, it's not. I go, really? It takes eight minutes for the light from the sun to travel to the earth. That means the sun comes before I do. <laughs> I feel like uh, in L.A., people, uh, the thing is, everyone's trying to look really young. I've noticed this. Even my grandma. My grandma had plastic surgery. And then she had a stroke, so she had resting, resting face. <laughs> When she died, we were going to cremate her, but it's illegal to burn plastic. <laughs> so we recycled her. <laughs> my, uh, my mom wants me to have kids, which I, don't, I, I went to the doctor. I was thinking about it. I went to the doctor, and I found out I'm sterile. I didn't, yeah, I was shocked. He's like, Steven, you're sterile. And I was like, thank you. I keep it clean. <laughs> He goes, no, you idiot. You can't have kids. I go, what should I do? He goes, you can adopt. I was like, I don't even like getting pre-owned vehicles. <laughs> Same checklist. It's always like, how old is it? Has it been any accidents? And do they have the color I want? <laughs> uh, by the way, this isn't the only beard I have. I have another one right over here. <laughs> It's my backup beard. Why do I have a tramp stamp of hair? It's my thermos animal. Happy trail, sad trail. This is a trail nobody wants to hike. I can tell I'm looking at your face. It's the Oregon Trail. Oh, but a lot of people died here then. People caught dysentery on this back. Oh, yeah. Watch out, a rattlesnake might bite you. Crawl out of the hole over here. Oh, yeah. There's a lot right here. I lifted my shirt to Walgreens. They think I'm stealing a loofah. I went to go visit my family. My brother, uh, 32 years old, still lives with my parents. He started balding. And I saw him and I was like, I stole your hair. It's with me now. My mom and him don't get along. And my mom's from the Bronx, so she's like a tough lady. And uh, she'll make fun of him about it. She goes, she goes, uh, she saw him, she goes, how'd your hair move out before you did, motherfucker? <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, they got an argument. He cursed at her and he locks himself in the room. And she goes, oh, you think you can get the last word, huh? She got her gun and started shooting the door. Just <laughs> <laughs> and all of a sudden, behind the door, we hear, you missed, bitch. <laughs> she started reloading the gun like, 
I ran out of the house. I was like, ah! I get in my car. My brother jumps out the window. He gets in my car. He's bleeding. I was like, I thought you said she missed. He goes, I didn't want to give her the satisfaction. <laughs> I started driving her to the hospital. My mom calls. I pick up. I'm like, Mom, I'm driving my brother to the hospital. She goes, tell your brother not to snitch. Click. <laughs> I got sent to a military school when I was younger for making counterfeit money and using it at strip clubs. My mom's like, how could you do this? My dad's like, at least he's not an idiot. My mom's like, he should be at school getting A's and B's. My dad's like, yeah, but he's at the strip club getting C's and D's. Am I right, boy? Come on, son. Counterfeits for countertits. All right. In military school, you had to play a sport. I don't know, did anybody play any sports in high school? Yeah? Yeah. Yeah? Anybody else wrestle with their sexuality? <laughs> Who knew it, it would help me in LA so much? <laughs> yes, I want the part. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you ever got your hand caught in the pickle jar before? <laughs> Come on. Come on, let me be an extra in that movie. <laughs> uh, my, uh, my dad thinks my mom is crazy because my mom was part of a cult called Avon. <laughs> and my mom thinks my dad's crazy because my dad used to be best friends with a serial killer named David Berkowitz. Son of Sam, if you know, as a serial killer that went around New York in the 70s. My dad played basketball with this guy. And I was like, Dad, that's disturbing. Who won? <laughs> and my dad verbatim goes, Berkowitz trials isn't the only court he lost in. Yeah! The man was terrible at defense, but everyone knows he was a great shooter. Bing, 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 bing. My dad went to the trial. They asked David Berkowitz to the trial. They go, why'd you do it? He goes, there was a dog outside my window telling me to kill people. And my dad stands up in court and goes, holy crap, that was a prank. <laughs> <laughs> I'm happy you guys are laughing at some stuff because I don't think there's a lot of freedom of speech. I feel like we get in trouble for a lot of things we do and say. In fact, the only place I think freedom of speech still thrives is in rap music, and that's because there's a beat behind it. Because if there was no beat and a rapper jumped out of you and started going acapella, he would be a homeless man. Yeah. Just pop out of the bushes like, hey, what up, big booty girl? Come on, let me just beat it up. 22 and think it's time to get this point in my poop. Now give me some change. Ah! <laughs> but you put a beat behind that same crazy, and it's like, big booty bounce, big booty bounce, big booty bounce, big booty bounce. I just want to beat it up, beat it up, beat it up. Now tap dance, girl. That's rap music right there. Yeah. Rappers low-key are like hypnotists because no matter what they say in a song, women will do it on the dance floor. They're like, drop it low. They're like, I'm dropping a log. Yes, get it, daddy. Yeah, yeah. They're like, throw it to the window. They're like, where's the window? Take a picture. Let me see ya. I don't know why women think men can take good pictures. You've seen our dick pics. It looks like we're selling furniture on Craigslist. We're like, you want it or not? I got someone else emailing me about it. Do you want it or not? I'm more of an ass man uh, myself. You know, when we go to the nightclub, most people I think are boob people, and I say that because boobs have their own holiday. It's called Mardi Gras. Oh. Yeah, I saw this woman with nipple tassels on there, but her boobs were down to here, so it just looked like she was doing street sleeping, just. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, that is community service. Sometimes uh, little boobs will try to do big boob things, like this little boob woman asked me to motorboat her, and I was like, the most I can do is a like, lazy river. Sometimes you'll see somebody with no boobs and they're wearing a bra. That doesn't make any sense. Like, if you don't own a pillow, you don't go get a pillowcase. That's why they have the padded bra. I like. I think guys need something like that. I want to be like, surprise, it's an A cup. <laughs> it's just a nipple. My condom's a pasty. I call it Bruce Lee. It's the one-inch punch. Oh, my God. 
I like living uh, with uh, my girlfriend right now. It's nice. Before living with her, I used to have a gay roommate. And he came out to his mom. His mom's a nice Jewish lady. But he wanted to come out to his dad because his dad's an angry German guy. So it's like he came out of the closet, but he's still in the attic. <laughs> I remember one time I walk in the apartment and goes, mm, Steven, check out my $500 Gucci boots. What do you know about these $500 Gucci boots? You know not about these $500 Gucci boots. And I was like, that's great, man. Where's the rent? <laughs> and he's like, I don't got it, but it's the party in the mansion night. Don't worry, you're drinking, I'm driving. So we jump in the car. <laughs> Before we even walk in the house, I can hear the music coming from the door. It's like... <laughs> I'm getting down, I'm doing my baby dance. You ever seen a baby dance? She's like... <laughs> Breaking a little shark fin, just like, yeah, take the picture, yeah! <laughs> All of a sudden, this girl starts trying to back it up on me. She's like, you want this milkshake in your yard? You want this milkshake? And she hits me with her butt and lifts me off the ground. I'm like, we're gonna need a bigger yard! But she's still coming. She's like, you want this milkshake? I'm like, get off me, woman! Oh, I am lactose intolerant! And I excuse myself to the bathroom, just... <laughs> I open up the bathroom door, and I see these two dudes going at it. I'm like, oh, but you know when you see something, and you don't know if it's real. So you gotta look back to make sure I do that move, and I see those Gucci boots. I was like, oh, Eric. He's like, oh, Steve. I got the rats. <laughs> <laughs> and that, ladies and gentlemen, is capitalism. Thank you very much. I'm Stephen Burke. <laughs> hey, keep it going for Mr. Stephen Burke.